Uh, first, a uh, few words to my person, uh, Rudolf Ober. I'm working uh, at uh, Fuchnow Bremse and uh, I'm the responsible product manager for the air disc brake for trailers. A few words to uh, Knorr Bremse. Knorr Bremse is uh, uh, one of the world leading companies for uh, railway and commercial vehicle uh, braking and chassis control systems. So we are more or less uh, uh, worldwide available in all markets of the world. From the commercial vehicle chassis system, uh, we produce, develop and uh, uh, supply all the products uh, from the complete vehicle uh, chassis system. That means from the uh, beginning, the, the air supply and the air treatment, which is the compressor, of course, uh, via the braking and chassis control systems, EBS, ABS, um, air suspension control, and so on, up to the uh, wheel brakes. Uh, including the actuators. And this is the, the main topic of my speech today. This is the, the wheel brake, especially here, uh, the air disc brake for trailer applications. It's interesting, if you look to the European trailer market, uh, the trailer market changed more or less uh, from drum brake, which was the predominant uh, wheel brake uh, the last, I don't know, 80 years. Uh, to air disc brake. Uh, the trend uh, that uh, the trailer did followed the trend uh, of the uh, tractor, buses and uh, truck manufacturers. They switched over to an air disc brake system around about in the mid of the 90s uh, because of the uh, uh, performance advantages uh, you can have with an air disc brake. So the, the trailer market followed that uh, development and uh, yeah, in continental Europe, we have currently more or less than 80% market share uh, with air disc brakes. Uh, we have those air disc brakes in all uh, variations of trailers, tippers, uh, semi full trailers, drawbar trailers, whatever is uh, on the road. When I say Europe changed to air disc brake, then it means continental Europe because uh, the UK market still is pre predominant uh, on the drum brake market, which is a little bit uh, yeah, interesting for us, uh, why those big market will stay on the drum brake. When we have a look to the technology uh, on the, the um, advantages of an air disc brake versus a drum brake, then we have as a most important point, of course, the safety. Uh, safety uh, is, of course, one of the main uh, focus and, and, and issues of a brake, of a wheel brake. The ADB offers a significant better fading performance versus a drum brake. What does a fading performance me, uh, mean? Uh, if you go uh, with hot brakes, uh, that means the, the harder the brakes are, uh, the less brake power, brake performance you have. And if you compare the fading behavior between a drum brake and an air disc brake, uh, you will find out that the fading behavior of an air disc brake is much, much better than with a drum brake. That means if you make a full stop uh, or an emergency stop uh, with an air disc brake trailers, that reduces the, um, the stopping distance, depends a little bit on the application, up to 30%, which is a lot and 30% uh, reduced stopping distance, this is pure safety. This is pure safety margin. But not only the uh, safety issue is very important, uh, a second also very important thing, because we are talking about commercial vehicles, they have to earn money for your daily business. This is the cost saving supported by air disc brake. First, the pet change with an air disc brake is much quicker, much faster than with drum brakes. That means you have reduced workshop times. Uh, you have reduced non-operation times. Your trailer is much quicker back on road to earn money for your daily business. The second is that the ADB offers significant weight reduction. Um, an ADB equipped axle is compared to an, um, a drum brake axle. 
up to 32 kilograms lighter, 32 kilograms. That means if you go with a standard uh, three axle uh, trailer, up to 100 kilograms uh, less weight. That means uh, you can use that uh, weight reduction for higher payload, which is pure margin for your business. Or uh, if you don't fully load your trailer, you can use that uh, for reduce uh, or reduction of uh, fuel consumption. That means at the end, if you go with an ADB equipped vehicle, especially the trailer, uh, you have significant advantages regarding the total cost of ownership. So this is a significant um, uh, point to that. We started, as I said, uh, mid of the 90s with the first generation of air disc brake. And here in this chart, you can see the continuous improvement regarding weight. So when we start with the first uh, <coughs> generation, this was uh, uh, in for the 22.5 inch rims. Uh, it was around about 49 kilograms per wheel brake. And we reduced it uh, via three steps in the second generation to 44. Uh, and then we introduced, this was for, for us a milestone uh, for the um, trailer air disc brake. We made the first trailer specific air disc brake in 2004. This is uh, currently um, the standard brakes for trailers in Central, Central Europe and reduced here the weight to 36 kilogram. And last year uh, we introduced the next step, we call it the facelift of those trailer brake, the second generation trailer brake in the market. It's the ST7. Um, here we uh, achieved further weight reductions of around about four, four kilograms per wheel end. That means if you uh, come from the first generation to the current trailer ADB, uh, this is a weight reduction of around about 17 kilograms or 35 percent, which is a lot, which is a lot. And all of those uh, weight reduction you can use for increased payload. Last thing, uh, after the safety, after the um, cost issue, uh, I will talk about reliability. Uh, because for commercial vehicles, it's absolutely necessary that you will have a reliable system. You want to have the vehicle on the road. You have the vehicle on the road for doing your business, for earning money. Because of that, we collect a lot of data out of the field, out of the benchmark. Of course, we have a look to our competitors as well. Uh, we look to the quality data, uh, we look to the, our tests, we do a lot of tests. Uh, we have contact with owners, with fleets, we make some field tests with fleets. Um, we are in contact with workshop. And all those information uh, we used for the continuous improvement um, to offer you at the end the reliable system you expect from us. So I will always say the best, the best break is the break you never know what it is. So do the work, it works, and everything is fine. So you can do your daily work, and uh, that's it. So at the end, as a summary, I will say um, the air disc brake is the right technology currently to support your business. Uh, we have a lot of experience. We have more than 25 million air disc brakes out in the field in a lot of uh, uh, different applications from uh, Scandinavia to south of Italy, from Portugal to Russian uh, transport. And uh, more than 4 million of those are those trailer-specific ADBs. Uh, that means uh, also here we have a lot of experience and we are quite sure that uh, we can offer you a really reliable product. High safety margin due to the superior brake performance, especially if uh, you go to higher temperatures. It means uh, hilly roads, downhill or uh, heavy usage like delivery uh, in, a, in a city delivery. Reduced weight supports uh, cost saving, higher payload, uh, reduced fuel consumption. Pet service significant quicker than with a drum brake. And of course, continuous improvement to yeah, offer you all the customer benefits you need. So from my point of view, we say 
the air disc brake for trailers is the right choice right now. That means uh, also the UK market now, from my point of view, uh, is uh, or should ch uh, change as continental Europe from uh, drum brake to air disc brake. Oh, thank you very much for your attention. And uh, we are, of course, available on our stand if there is any question or if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you very much.